another video, and this is going to be three hidden inputs. Also, you can add me on Snapchat at Redstone Lab, and the first three people to do that get an easy shout out. And you can give me ideas on what my next video should be. One person already has added me, and so you can be the second or third person and get a shout out. And on the video before this, I said that if you liked the video and then commented that you did, <clears throat> I'd give you a shout out. And Charizard did that. He was the only one, so I'm giving him a shout out. And now I'm going to do the same thing for this video. So if you like it and then comment that you did, I'll read them and give you a shout out. And the goal for this video is going to be three likes. It's a small goal, so let's just hope it's beaten. And if this video helps you, comment it so I know that it was a good video. And I'll know that you liked it. I'm done talking. Let's start the video. Okay, the first hidden input is using a cauldron. So I'm just going to go like um, this. Um, like yeah like that and then put the cauldron right there and put a comparator because we're going to use a lot of comparators in this one in this video and then put a repeater and then bring redstone out to whatever you want to power I get, I'm just going to use a lamp so now it's hidden you could use it to like open a door or something so if you put water in it It'll detect that, and the repeater will go off, powering this. Because if you didn't have that repeater in there, it wouldn't go anywhere. So just make sure that that gets powered. And then you can take it back out, just like that. That's the first hidden one. The next one is using a door. And I remembered that we're not actually using many <laughs> comparators. So you need to go down so that this end with the red is facing up because that's the input end and so we're just going to use a door right on top of that and put quartz around it so it looks normal because we usually do that and then the output for for the co for the observer is down here so now it if we open the door or shut it a tiny little pulse comes out of here and you can run that up to like a door or something using a uh, T flip flop I'll have that video at the end of this video but anyway you can use it like to power the lamp so that one's really cool it's using a door that's the second and the last one is just using um, a tripwire you probably or do you have seen a tripwire these are just simple you just take two tripwire hooks put them on blocks at least three apart just like this this is the minimum and then put just a piece of string place it in the middle and then you just bring it over into a lamp or whatever you want to power then when you walk over it it powers it or you could use a T flip flop like I said the other one and again that'll be at the end of the video which is like right about now. But remember to like the video so we can get a shout out. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.